Yes. So first to introduce myself, uh, I'm Sanchana and uh, I do both, uh, you know, uh, language, English language and communication training for children and adults. And I also look after IELTS. So I work at Red Fox Education and I'm a tutor there. So as we go along, maybe, you know, while I ask questions, you can introduce yourself while you're answering the questions. So we'll just right now, we'll just, you know, dive into the webinar directly. Okay. Thank you for that response. Okay. So today we are going to be looking at how to talk about our likes and dislikes. So uh, what happens is many times while we are speaking, while we are communicating, we are really not able to talk about our likes and dislikes to tell somebody, you know, either a group or even a family member, a friend about you know, what we actually like, what we prefer. Uh, it can be as simple as when somebody asks you whether you want tea or coffee. So many times we answer in one word saying tea or coffee, but it would be even more better to say something like I would prefer coffee or I love coffee. I'm more fond of coffee or, you know, uh, no, tea is my uh, take, things like this. So we'll be looking at that today. <coughs> So basically, uh, you know, this is what your classes would look like even if you take up classes. Okay, so to begin with, different people, you know, like different things and it's very important to communicate. So in this lesson, you learn to communicate using the proper words and the, you know, things. So this is like the easiest way to remember this. So I like, I detest, I don't mind. So can somebody tell me the meaning of detest? Can somebody tell me the meaning of detest? This this should be a more interactive webinar. I would like it if you know you could uh, you know switch on your mic and communicate with me. It's a conversation webinar. It's okay if you don't know. Uh, so detest basically means to dislike something, to hate something. Okay. To, uh, you know, completely not want something. So that is the meaning of detest. And I don't mind is okay. I don't really mind. Uh, either way is fine. So do you like, uh, shall we order sandwiches? I don't mind. Means I'm not like a great fan of sandwiches. But at the same time, it's not like I hate sandwiches. So it's, it's okay. So I like, I detest and I don't mind. After this, you will have to, you know, put your verb plus ing. Like let's say, um, let's, let's say a friend asks you, uh, do you want to go on a walk? So then you can always reply, I don't mind walking. So here walk is your verb plus ing. Okay. So I like, so I like listening to music. I detest eating bitter god. Okay. So things like that. So can, can you, uh, you all switch on your mics and, you know, tell me, uh, choose one of these and tell me what you like or what you detest or what you don't mind. Who would like to? Yes, please introduce. I mean, just say your name and then you could you maybe, you know. I'm not able to hear you. Um, your voice is not clear, sir. Uh, is it clear? Yes, yes, it's very clear. Yeah, I like playing... I like swimming. Very nice. Very nice attempt. Very good, nice. good. Is there anybody else who would like to try? I detest coffee. Wonderful. Here, because we are using, you know, verb plus ing, you could say, I detest yeah. drinking coffee. Yeah, I detest drinking coffee. Yes, wonderful. And, uh, I detest making strangers friends. How about I don't mind? Can you can you give us a sentence with I don't mind? No. I detest making good uh, strangers as a friend. Okay. Or okay. else I can say that I detest, I detest talking strangers. I detest talking to strangers. Yes, that's nice. I detest talking to strangers. Okay, can you, can you give us a sentence with I don't mind? Uh, I don't mind playing football. Wonderful. Okay. I don't mind traveling with the strangers. 
Okay, that's wonderful. Yes, thank you so much. May I know your name, please? Sayed. Sayed. Okay, wonderful. A great job, Sayed. Yes. Anybody thank else you. would like to do it? We had one person do it. Anybody else? Come on, it's not so difficult to have everything on the screen, and I'm always here to help you. Anybody like want to try? Okay, never mind. Okay. So next we have something called very much and a lot. Okay. So you can always use very much and a lot, but not together. Okay. I like basketball very much or a lot. Okay. Or you can even say I do not like basketball very much. I do not I like basketball a lot. It can also be used in negative. While you are, you know, communicating something. Okay. And when you love something, you can always use love. You can always say, I love eating ice cream. But you can also use other words instead of love. For example, I adore sunbathing. Or I adore eating ice cream. She is mad about the new boy band. So you know how everybody is going crazy on this, um, the, the, those, those, those Korean stars. Um, what are they called? There's this name for that band, right? Anybody? Anybody knows? I'm not able to recollect. Can you re repeat again? This, the, everybody is going crazy on this uh, new Korean. Yes, BTS. Yes, somebody you know put it on the chat for me. Yes. So BTS yes. is basically Most this new boy are... band. That, yes, not only everybody. girls, boys, everybody. Everybody is seeming to go crazy on them. So, you know, she's mad about the new boy band. That means she loves the new boy, boy band. band. Doesn't mean she's angry with them or, you know, mad about them. But she is, you know, she's completely in love or she adores the new boy band. You can also say he's crazy about that girl. So, you know, when one of your friends actually like a girl in college or in work or anywhere, you can always say he's crazy about that girl or, you know, he's crazy about traveling. He's crazy about, um, you know, that new song. Uh, he's crazy about uh, parota or, or whatever. You can use it with anything. So you can use love instead of, see, now saying I love something is very, very common nowadays. That, that's a verb or that's a word everybody knows. So you can, you know, uh, game up your language skills by adding words like adore, mad, crazy. And to add one more to this, I'll tell you something. Um, you can always say go bananas. So she's bananas about um, ice cream. She loves ice cream. Okay, that's something new that you all can actually note down. Going bananas over. So going crazy over. Okay. Okay. And if you like something a lot again, so there's a, there is obviously a difference between love and like the intensity. But again, when you like something, you can use the words like fond. Okay. She's fond of chocolate. If you say she adores chocolate, she loves chocolate means to an extreme level. When you say she's fond of chocolate, she likes chocolate. She doesn't like love chocolate, but then she really likes it. I like swimming very much. He really likes the new golf course. So here you must really stress on the word really because you want to, you know, make that seem as if they like it so much. So is there anybody who would like to, you know, try one of these? Try one of these words like fond or adore. Anybody? See, see, when it comes to communicative English, only if you communicate, it will work. It's okay if you're wrong. It's completely okay. That's what I'm here for. To help you, you know, with your language. So it's okay if you're wrong. Anybody? Would anybody like to, you know, try talking to me about what you like? Okay. Okay. So now we look into something that you don't like. Okay, so now that we have looked at like, we look at something that you don't like. So I don't mind doing the housework. So who loves doing housework, right? Like, is there anybody who loves to wash vessels and clothes? No, but you, you don't mind doing the housework because you have to. And in reply to a question, if you like something or not, you can always say, I don't, I don't care either way. That means if somebody asks, so would you, what, what would you like, tea or coffee? 
So you could say, I don't really care either way. That means you don't mind if it's coffee or tea. It's the same. It's not like you are crazy about coffee or tea. Okay. Okay. It's all the same to me. Again, it's all. Would you like to go to Greece or would you like to go to Spain? So you could always say, it's all the same to me. Again, if you don't like something, you can, you know, use some more uh, sentences. She doesn't like cooking very much. She doesn't like cooking very much. She is not very fond of gardening. So here we use something called she is fond of chocolate. And the same thing we're using here saying she's not very fond of gardening. He is not a great fan of football. This is something you can note. So if somebody asks, uh, hey, did you listen to the new ARM on song that's released? You can always say, oh, I'm not a great fan of that song. That means you don't really like that song. It doesn't mean you're not a fan of A.R. Rahman. It means you're, you don't like that song. Um, then, if, Or if somebody asks you, shall we go eat noodles today? So, no, I'm not a great fan of noodles. That means you don't really like noodles. Okay? It doesn't literally mean being a fan of somebody. Horse riding isn't really my thing. Again, when you don't like something, it means it's not your thing. So, um, do you like to cook? No, cooking really isn't my thing. Means you don't like to cook. I dislike wasting time. Dislike is, a, again, a very common word that we use. Dislike. Does anybody want to try one of these sentences with doesn't, for, not very fond, not a great fan? While you're in this space, you can actually make mistakes, people. Would anybody like to yeah. try? Yes, go ahead. I'm not, no, he is not very fond of reading books. Wonderful. Can you use the same sentence with I as in you're talking about yourself? Yes. I'm not very fond of reading books. Very good. One more sentence. Uh, maybe you can, you can use another sentence with great fan of. I'm not great fan of Sarukh Khan. Okay, that's nice. Yes, yes, yes. That, that's good. Okay, wonderful. Anybody else wants to try? What's your name? Deepak. Deepak. Wonderful, Deepak. Yes. Uh, anybody else wants to try? Nobody else wants to try? Okay. Okay, so, uh, so this is how you, you know, talk about your likes and dislikes. The lesson will keep continuing, but uh, we'll stop at this here. So before we actually, you know, wind up with this session, I actually want to talk to you about something. So, uh, you know, we, uh, the, we, today we were supposed to talk about coherence and clarity. So let me give you some details about coherence and clarity. So is there anybody who actually knows what's coherence and clarity and would anybody like to explain? Anybody? It's okay if it's wrong. Again, I'm stressing on it that it's okay if it's wrong. Just whatever you know. Does nobody know the meaning of clarity? No, I don't think. Okay. I appreciate that you have uh, switched on your mic to say I don't know. Okay. So basically clarity is something when we are clear about something. Okay. So um, let's say, uh, can I have a volunteer? Can I have a volunteer? Okay. Okay, never mind. So let's say somebody asked me um, what my favorite food was. Okay. And I started saying, oh, my favorite food, I love dosas. And, uh, you know, just the, the crispiness of the dosas and everything. So once my mother was making dosas and uh, she poured a lot of, she poured some extra batter on it and then it became very, very spongy. And then she had to, you know, wash the entire, um, you know, gas because it all overflowed everywhere. And it was such a messy day and she was angry with me. And, you know, I really hate that day. So actually somebody asked me about my favorite food. And I started talking about my favorite fruit, which is dosa. But I lost context and I went into explaining how bad that day was because, you know, the batter consistency was not right, which has nothing to do with my favorite food. So that is where we lack clarity. Okay. So when, when I say clarity in speech, uh, one is your word should be clear. And my generally what I tell my students is that for your words to be clear, you must open your mouth and speak as much as possible. 
in the beginning it will it will seem very odd but as days pass you will know to control your uh, you know the movement of your mouth but at the same time your words will be clear okay so clarity in words is your pronunciation and the way you say a word along with that clarity in communication is when you stick to a topic and you give relevant ideas or you give relevant you know information about that particular topic that is clarity and when it comes to communication so i mean sorry when it comes to coherence coherence basically is next 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 it's an order how coherent your speech is or how coherent your essay or your write up is let's take the same example now somebody asks me uh, what's my favorite food so i say my favorite food is dosa so somebody asks me what's my favorite food and why do i like it so i say my favorite food is dosa and i love it so much it's so crispy and uh, actually dosas are good when it's eaten with uh, you know sambar or something and once in a while you can also add a vada to the dosa and uh, but and the dosas are actually very crispy and they are soft for, from inside and you can also maybe you know pair a dosa with um, you know idli podi or something like that and uh, but the dosas are also you know uh, slightly brown so what is happening at one place i'm talking about the texture of the dosa and another place i'm talking about what dosa goes well with the combinations idli podi sambar chutney whatever all the other things pickle so what happens is i am confusing stuff people are going to be confused as in okay is she talking about the texture of the dosa or is she talking about the combination of the dosa that is coherent so first you complete speaking about the texture and then you get into the combination okay so coherence basically step by step by step by step you do not jump from one idea to another idea you stick to one idea complete that idea and then go on to the next idea so that is coherence so coherence and clarity is extremely important when it comes to any language not only english and it is extremely important when you're writing and speaking for both right now because it's conversation i'm stressing on speaking but it is also very very important when it comes to writing okay so these are the two things that i wanted to explain to you and while we are while we are here i'll just give you some information about red fox education as well so like i already told you um, i'm from red fox education and red fox education is a british online school it's a teaching platform that uh, you know uh, you know gives you training on communication and language like how you saw that there was a lesson today so this is basically a conversation english lesson so this is how your lessons would be like and your teacher would keep explaining stuff to you from the lesson and after every lesson you will also have you know worksheets and actually it's not available for the tutor but for the students you will also have tests you will have sample dialogues like this that you can practice so it's there everything will be very very interactive sessions and very very fun sessions so all of the sessions and we do not stick only to conversation english we have business english ielts uh, we have uh, uh, you know language and communication training for children public speaking uh, business english uh, you know uh, all all of all of the all of your communication and language needs we would be able to help you with that and cover it okay yes uh, in case any of you are interested in taking up classes or you can even check our self learning courses i'll just drop the link for you in the chat box you can copy it from there or you can even give us a call so now we have something called self learning courses uh, it's all available on the red fox education mobile app which you can download from play store or app store which is free of cost you also have a premium subscription if you want more content you can always take the premium subscription or even on the regular that's a free subscription you have a lot of content so do check out the app is anybody you know here who wants to ask me a doubt is there anybody who wants to ask me a doubt or anything about today's session about red fox education about myself anything anybody you can even drop it in the chat box if you want is it this course paid or free the webinars are uh, for two webinars are free and uh, the courses are paid and you will get all the fee structure on the website hello ma'am yes uh, okay well i just want to know uh, that what is the uh, strength of the classes i mean in one classes how much people are like you in your are... classes right when you mm -hmm. take up classes yes your all the classes that happen with red fox education are one on one we do not uh, encourage uh, group classes only if too much of you know the student insists very much then we set up a group otherwise it's all one on one so that you know you get that private attention the teacher the tutor is able to understand the student's learning style and able to 
you know convey the classes in such a way so it's all one on one okay okay ma'am thank you yes. for that you're welcome class durations class duration it depends on the course but generally a class this live one on one class would uh, last for up to 30 minutes and after that you will have a pre recorded session of the entire video from a british tutor yes anything else anybody would like to know is it any way to learn pre from british academy yes we also offer classes with british tutors for the same thing for, for the the classes with british tutors for the prizes and everything you can check our website it's in the chat box anything else anybody is that all okay so i had a wonderful session with all of you today i next time if you join please be more interactive because this is a conversation webinar and you know we need to have a conversation only then it will be of any help to you or any use to you but otherwise i had a wonderful session and thank you all for today have a nice day bye bye